Hello, Shippers Father. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build that massive 5x5 right there. That's really, really amazing door right there. I'm really, really happy with that. So, this is going to be an explanation video and how to build it because I don't know why. I'm just in the mood of explana explaining and tutorial video. So, I'm going to start things off with the 6x15 area. And in the, fifth, in the center block over here, you want to place a slab in case like this and place a redstone dust on top of it you just want to place a node block on top of it like this and it's going to be your input as well mm. and then here i want to place an observer with a slab again in front of it with a, p a redstone dust and two pistons like this before you continue everything any further just click this node block once and if you see that the piston in the top extends or fires that means you are good to go and if you see the bottom piston fires in case that will look like this um, i'm sorry that you cannot be able to do this because the update order is wrong you can see that this piston dust should have been updating this piston and not the bottom one so from here you just want to get your door frame so i'm just going to make use of iron block go two to the side two to the side again and then just place five going up and then over here make sure that's five okay five and then over here the same thing five so that's going to be your door frame and the piston layout you are going to have a block swapper over here with a piston over in this thing like this so here's just going to just retract and then extend that's going to pull the blocks and store the blocks inside here and then oh just one place distance and that's going just going to extend good so in this side instead of using instead of not having any pistons we actually need another piston over here to store the block because we are going to store four blocks so there's going to be one two three and, and the fourth block is going to be over there just place the fourth block over there and same on this side we're going to have another block swapper and then on top of it you're going to place four double piston extenders like this and then here i'm going to place single piston extenders with a triple piston extender on the middle like this we actually need this to be like that and same on this thing i'm going to place the same Actually, this is actually too too high, so that's going to be like that. And same on this side, you just want to create your double position extenders like that. And we are not done yet. Over here, to decide where the input is, place a sticky piston 4 up high like this. And you just want to grab your target block. And I'm going to be using cyan for the side pistons. Use an, any movable object and then alternating like this with slab over in this two blocks that are in line with the target blocks so that you're gonna have to make sure that this person does will be redirected to that target block so and here you just want to have the same thing and next up we have gotten our um what is it our piston layout and on this side you want to place the same just stick your pistons facing into the front pistons like this so we're going to wire the side on the right side first we're going to place one two three four five and then up by a block and then up by a block again just grab your redstone dust connect it all until here place two redstone torches up until over here and we are going to create the sides closing first so here you just want to place a piece of redstone dust with a repeater set to one tick and then down below it, I'm going to place a redstone dust over here. And make sure that this thing is going to power the four pistons like that. Good. And then to the side of it, you just want to place a repeater set to two ticks and update it. You can power it using a redstone dust like this. Because we are going to connect this redstone dust to the top later on. And then down below here, we just want to place your redstone here. With another repeater set two ticks that's going to power the side the, the redstone dusts over here and it's going to place three tick repeater that is going to be for our later work so before you continue any further just place four blocks over here this is going to be your storage piston and um, i mean storage blocks right there and you're going to have a redstone dust over here with a repeater set to two ticks another block over here with redstone dust with a block 
and a block over here with a repair set to one tick. You just want to grab your node block, just replace this piston, place node block there, and another node block here. Place redstone dust over down there, and you just want to place observers like this. So believe it or not, this is almost the closing done. If you just test it out, you are going to see this. But this actually, these two pistons are actually extended, but they are not updated just yet. So we need a, a regular piston over down here to update those pistons. So let me just reset this thing up. And we already got that thing done for the opening. We just need to send this over and then the double piston extension. So let me just reset this real quick. Like this, and I'm gonna temporarily put these blocks back here. And we already have this piston over here so that we can have the full closing but you can see that it's really really slow and we can actually fasten it up by just let me just reset this again once more time wait let me just let's show some block right like that and replace this box over here and if we place a a redstone, uh, an observer facing downwards over here, it's actually going to update that piston faster. So you can see right here, that's going to be a little bit faster. But it's not the fastest, but it's faster indeed. So over here, you're just going to place a redstone piston. A piston, yeah, piston over there and a piece of observer. And here is going to, you can see that the opening we already got, that piston is stored over there. And that's going to fire one more pulse to get this piston back here and spat out there. So you gotta see here that's over there that's really quick and we just need to send a pulse to grab these pistons right there before we continue any further you just want to place a, st a sticky piston um, a regular piston over there and i would like to use um you can use any glass any block actually i would prefer to use glass no actually this needs to be uh, blue because oh no orange orange with orange good because we're going to create our opening using orange and place another an observer here and just place solid blocks up again up here one more over here and stick um, a regular piston up here this is going to be a slider that's going to power the piston over here to two pistons right here so the way we're going to power the pistons up here we're going to use an a piston with an observer a piston with an observer facing downwards that's going to power the blocks over there and the way we're going to connect it is that we're going to take the output from this observe from this node block over here. And we are just going to I'm just going to grab my orange wool over here. We're gonna place two blocks and a three tick repeater. That's going to power the piston right there. And we are I'm just going to quickly reset this thing okay. And so it's already reset. Now we are gonna to have to closing real quick. That's going to power, but that's not going to do anything because there's no pistons over here. So before we're going to do that, we are going to connect down here, place a piston with an observer, and then over in this block, you're gonna place a block with a repeater on two ticks with um, a slab, and then no, it's actually a uh, no, it's actually right repeater over here set to two ticks, and then we are going to power this. Oh no no, sorry, it is it is lowered by one block. We have to up by a block like this using our two tick repeater and our redstone dust over two but at the moment it doesn't power this so we need something to update it and that's going to be a node block down here so actually we can already see that we are going to have we can already see we can have the single extension and then we just need to retract these pistons and that is going to be making I mean, we are going to making use of a slider so we just place a block here, up here, with an observer facing downwards, another observer facing downwards, and another block right here with a piston down over here. So here's going to be the slider, so we just want to place, no, we're going to place a bl block here, okay, and then another, another regular piston up there that's going to push down to grab the pistons over to the correct position. So I've just reset the door and let me just close it one more time like so 
and at the moment it doesn't actually reset this thing so you're gonna have to reset it manually or we just don't test it out like I did we need to reset that down over there and the way we're going to connect this thing to get the retraction we're just going to place a repeater set to three ticks and then another repeater over here set to two 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 ticks with an observer with a block and a redstone dust over there actually this is wrong so the way you're connecting this you just want to place redstone dust on top of this block place the repeater set to three ticks and then over here you just want to place the repeater set to two ticks with a block and a redstone dust on top of it and as you might can see that this piston actually does not reset itself so you just want to place redstone I just place piston and um, oh no block no this needs to be lowered back over there need um, piston and observer and over here you just place like a redstone repeater set to one tick so here's going to be almost the full clo opening you can see that it retracts and that already resets we just need to do one more retraction so the way we're going to create our last pulse we are going to have a repeater set to four ticks right here from this redstone dust with the redstone dust again and disemplace a block and let me just grab my glass has to be um, a movable object doesn't have to be solid so uh, again an observer facing into the slab make sure that it's a slab so it doesn't power and then another block on top of the observer and then another block another observer facing inwards and then place our sticky piston over there so it's already going to be auto, auto, automatically powered up and it's already powered at the same at the exact time we need and this actually currently does not um, reset itself so we have to close the door and we're going to manually reset it right there from there and from that it actually also resets this thing right here so here is going to be the full closing already done you can see like that and we just need to do the closing we just you know, we need to do the reset system for the pistons down here so the way we're going to create this reset system for the top one you just want to place a redstone oh you gotta have to break this thing place a piston a regular piston there and then here those are going to extend at the correct timing there but actually this is actually wrong this actually needs to be sped down here so you just want to place it down here and place a block with a node block with a an observer with a piston and another observer but over here it has to be away from the piston and then uh, another sticky piston here with an observer facing inside no it's actually a regular piston here and just place redstone observer here observer observer and then this actually needs to be sped out as well and then on the second one this is actually not the part of this but do that and one more time place an observer facing into the bottom piston right there so here is going to be the full reset system for the sides you can see that these are already reset those are sped out and you can see that yeah this thing has returned back and those has extended so here is already going to be the final for my right side and you can see that it also automatically resets so you can just test it as much as you want it so now that we already have the right side done we just want to do the exact same thing on this side you want to have your alternating target block and I'm going to use cyan for the sides closing again right there and just place your door blocks over there and then to the same level of the target blocks place redstone dust on the slab and then you want to connect it one, two, three, four, five, up and up, redstone dust across like that. Then another torch block, torch block, block here. That's going that no, they just don't place it now just yet. Place redstone repeater set to one tick with a block, block, dust, block, block block up redstone dust two tick repeater to there and then from here you just want to continue the line over with a redstone dust two ticks block again block one tick oh no 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 no, no. 
we, I have actually forgot to place the pistons over here. So we need this to be redstone dust and then block with a repair set one tick. Yes. Note block, note block, redstone dust. And then your, what is it? Observer. Here. Observer facing downwards. And your like regular piston over there. So here is going to be the full closing for the side. Whoa. Um. Except I. Oh, okay. I forgot to place the the redstone. Wait, like over here. I'm gonna place a redstone up here. Set two ticks and redstone dust. And for the opening, I'm just going to place a redstone repair set with three ticks with um, your piston over here. Observe facing upwards. And just just place another observer um, sticky piston with, or not, with an observer. It's going to be also the opening for later. And then from here, you just want to continue down here. Place a block up there with a repair set with two ticks. And then in front of it, you want to place a slab here and then your orange block you're going to create our slider but you can see that this is actually a one block lower but here you don't need to because it's going to be uh, broken if you place it one block higher on the right side I'm going to explain it later five blocks up here and then your regular piston up here that's going to be the side sliders and then for this for the for the top sliders you want to place uh, observer and then repair set to three ticks with your piston facing inwards with the observer facing downwards and you just want to create your observer slider over here you just want to place the same um, note observer over here block up like that and yours where is it uh, like th this regular piston Facing downwards, and then just alternate it, alter those right side, and then your sticky piston right there. And then we're going to connect it up from this side. And this side is actually also different. Um, instead of having the redstone dust up here, you just want to place your 3 tick repeater over here, and then going up a block, and the redstone dust needs to be there. And your 2 tick repeater with your block dust and your um, where is it St no stick a piston with wait stick a piston right there and um, an observer with an with a pier set to one tick and I've just totally placed the um, the, the piston at the wrong side so in this is going to be in line and the reason we need to do this thing right here is that because we are going to have a circuitry, the part of circuitry on the triple up piston extender over in this corner here and that's going to affect the redstone dust over here if we have it there and that's going to break so we just want to create your Fortic repeater back here Fortic repeater with redstone dust block um, just grab my glass um, up here Observer facing. Uh, let me just grab this inwards, like so. Another glass on top of it, with another observer facing into the redstone dust here, and your sticky piston right here. And so you can also test it right now. That is going to be functioning. That's going to be the opening and the closing fantastic news so so i was just about to record the, the top section i forgot something really really important and that is going to be the reset system for the sides so it's going to be the opening like that we haven't actually made the sides so here you just want to place your sticky piston um regular piston with a block with your note block it's actually same on the other side though so note block here piston here sticky piston here with an observer spat out in the opening set so if the door is open I'm, I'm actually suggesting you guys to, to create the side in the open state so it's going to be a little bit easier 
So observer here, um, regular piston here, observer two observers, one over there, one in the inside, and one into this piston right there. So here is going to be the last part that you need to do before you are done with your piston door. That is actually going to be a video for us today. We are going to make the triple and the bottom in the next episode because it has been long. I don't know how long this video has been, but it's long. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully you can build this door um, safe and sound. Yeah.